Welcome to the Talk As You Podcast, episode 14. If you hear drilling noises, uh, please ignore that. Or at least I'm going to try to ignore that. I think you can't hear it. Like, I'm always stressed because you like you guys can probably hear stuff. But uh, truth is, you probably can't because of the mic power. Mm, so good. <laughs> but it's distracting to me. So we're just going to wear earphones. I literally have no need to. <laughs> but uh, like it's not connected to <laughs> anything. But just so I don't hear anything from the outside because my ears are really sensitive anyway. I uh, hope y'all are doing good. This week, I just want to say that like last week's episode was kind of not, I don't want to use the word rambly because that's not it, but it was kind of like, I feel like there's been episodes like that where I just feel really bad personally. So like the episodes and the topics and the stuff just kind of really reflect that where I just kind of feel messy in my life and when I sit down and do the podcast. Uh huh. But, you know, it really sucks because I actually want to bring some kind of entertainment or whatever not entertainment but just like i don't know what's the reason you listen to podcasts let's 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 put that out there what's the reason you listen to podcasts that's a good uh you know some youtubers have comments like questions and stuff well just comment what's the reason you listen to podcasts i listen to it while i'm editing and i only listen to not that i only listen to but there are two podcasts that i just listen to all the time anyway yeah let's get into it uh i mean there was a topic that i wanted to touch on today but uh i kind of wanted to talk about the meg thing that happened yesterday first of all no wait let's celebrate the fact that tata la retaron oh my god to me okay it's not that i want to like bring in because i feel like okay i i am very happy because she is a shitty person but also i just i'm kind of a firm believer in like you know if i celebrate too much like john john if i celebrate too much bad things can happen to me and like i don't know i just want to be like oh okay they arrested her good i hope justice comes through like i hate being that person because i don't want to be like don't celebrate that's not what i'm saying you go celebrate all you want but i can't afford bad energy right now (laughs) so i am very happy but yeah Either way, sometimes, you know, the way the way the system works, it's just like she gets arrested and then she ends up being director of something in a few years. So fuck that. But anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that that happened because she is such a troll on Twitter most of the time. And it's like, you don't if you have all this time to argue, get the enemy or whatever, you shouldn't be in a position of power where you have the power to change people's lives and shit. You know, you should definitely not be here. You should definitely uh, be in, like, the UFC or something where you want to fight with people. But anyway, uh, that's all I have to say about that, except for, oh, my God. No sé si vieron un tweet que decía como que si el PNB sigue así en la federal van a tener un equipo de béisbol o algo así. Best tweet, really. Uh, but anyway, let's keep on. Oh, Okay, so there was a, t- a, a topic that I wanted to discuss today. Uh, see, like, we're getting topical. Okay, we're getting topics on this podcast because I like podcasts that don't have a topic that kind of just, like, like what my deal was in the beginning, you know, 14 weeks ago, well, technically 16, that are just, like, we sit down, we talk about what things that happen throughout the week, but also we might talk about other things or whatever that are not topical. Uh, so we're getting there. We're getting there slowly. Uh, however, I did want to talk about uh, Meg because the things that she said on that live uh, was just fucking heartbreaking to me, to be honest. She alleged, she apparently, okay, she confessed to it. First of all, she was like, yeah, this dude, Tori, shot me. She was, she was just like straight up came through and said it, confirmed it, right? Uh, and it is, like, the whole story is sad because apparently it was after an argument. Like, they were having an argument. She was not having it. She left. And that's when he shot her in the leg. Uh, it's crazy. It's like, what the fuck? You're a nobody. I mean, okay. I don't want to, like, when I mention that Tory Lanez is a nobody, I don't mean that I don't know who he is or whatever. I do know who Tory Lanez is. I'm just saying, like, Megan is on another level right now. Like, people that aren't even into rap know who Megan Thee Stallion is. Because of that, cause that's her star power. And you are just going to shoot this fucking star. 
I don't even know what happened there. I don't even know what the argument was really. But anyway, uh, of course, after that, she was just so scared because the police showed up and the helicopter showed up and she was bleeding out her leg. Oh, my God. It was so sad. I Trigger warning for anyone that was. Yeah. And. And apparently she didn't even she didn't want to make this a whole thing. You know how fucking resilient you must be to not want to be like, hey, like, okay, it's this dude. It's this other recording artist, Tory Lanez, that shot me. I would have been the first to do that. But, like, I don't want to also, like, I feel like a lot of people would be like, I, mean, a lot, I feel like a lot of people were like, oh, um, she should have said something or whatever. I would have been singing like a canary. Uh, you don't know what situation you don't know why she didn't say that. You know, you don't know why she sat down and she was like, oh, like, I don't want to make this a whole thing. She kept it. She didn't keep it a secret, but she also didn't just like make it a mess. You know, uh, she didn't even tell the doctors, which is crazy. She was like, oh, I didn't know, even know I was shot. What? That is goosebumps. Anyway, so sorry. It's just like the headphones drive me crazy, but this is going to be so... Mm, such an unsettling podcast episode anyway so then Tory Lanez has like all his his people pretty much uh making these blogs lie and be like oh Megan's like injuries don't really coincide you know don't really match up with that of a bullet wound or whatever and she the fact that she had to come through and say it herself like I got shot by this one dude by this 5'3 dude, this Scion Van looking ass dude. <laughs> um, it just, it's it's crazy. And to see all the people discrediting her, uh, just being like, oh, like, just say that Tory Lanez did it. And she goes and says Tory Lanez did it. Megan's a snitch. That's not being a snitch, though. <laughs> there are witnesses that know that Tory Lanez shot her. It's, it's. I don't want to keep on talking about it. I I said that I would keep it really, you know, short when I talked about Meg, uh, and the fact that uh, it's it's really so heartbreaking how she literally she def oh right the reason actually was because she was scared and she didn't want the police to fucking shoot him because of course the police are gonna fucking shoot every black person there, like. It is actually insane how black women go so hard for black men, for black people in general. And black men just don't respect that. And I don't know. Throw the whole ass dude in jail. Not that there's even much to throw in there. He's only 5'3". <laughs> but um, seriously, what the, f- what the actual... F- it is heartbreaking that she did that to protect him and he is out here lying. It's... It's great. Like, Meg is my idol. Like, she really... She wanted to keep it on the wraps. Okay, like, no. Like, I don't want any issue. You're lying? You're fucked. (laughs) Because I have a whole lot of star power. I mean, she didn't really do it like that. But, like, you know, she does have a lot of star power now. So, it's like, you shot me? You're fucked. Because all my fans are going to be against you. Now, there's, like... I mean, there is probably going to be a case. Not that there is, but, like, there should be. Dude... So someone was like, bury him under the jail because he fucking deserves it. He fucking deserves to be thrown in jail, really. And just rot in there and rot in many other places, including hell. Hate this dude. What the fuck? What the fuck? He could have killed her. He could have fucking killed her. Not gonna keep on going. But yeah, I love Megan Thee Stallion so much. And to see her go through that is heartbreaking. Let's keep on moving. Uh... Well, there isn't really much else to talk about this week other than that, that other than uh, Meg, which I just went on a whole rant there. And, uh, you know, I mean, I could mention, which is going to be in the thumbnail because it's just an iconic photo of Bad Bunny just going to register to vote, which is great. Uh, I don't know. I have I could say just a little bit about that. I'm sorry I'm scratching so much. Um I think it's great that he sets that example. I feel like a lot of people need it. And more than anything, like, someone was like, oh, which, like, I quoted the tweet and everything. I don't think the the person said it in a bad sense. But, like, to think, first of all, an influencer's job 
not that Bad Bunny is an influencer. He's a recording artist, but, you know, he does have a lot of influence. He does have a lot of power in that sense, which is why it was so heartbreaking when he barely spoke on Black Lives Matter. Keeping it moving on because I don't want to get angry again. Uh, he, you know, someone was like, oh, like now every influencer is going to copy Bad Bunny and like tell everyone to go register. Well, well, that's great. I think that would be great if like a lot of us, you know, my friend Gabriel Confucia, she's been, uh, what, what was like her campaign? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I forgot your campaign thing. But it was literally like, you know, go register to vote, which I think is great. And I actually quoted it and said, like, you know, it, I think that would be great if people imitated him and would go register to vote, register to vote, uh, except if you are an influencer from Guaynabo and you are just a richie rich and <laughs> like you're just going to go vote for your uh, PNP uh relative no <laughs> but like because you know there's a lot of them you know there's a lot of them like that are rich as fuck they're influencers and they only have that life because they're rich and because their father uncle whatever is a representative of that party but anyway let's keep it moving uh i think it's great that he did that i think we need that kind of influence more and he looked really bad <laughs> i mean eh, i to be completely honest, I actually don't care what he looks like. To be honest, it's just like okay, yeah, like we we've been go- we've been all been going through it. I low key looked like the female version of that, except blonde. When I go do my errands and when I take the stickers and shit, <laughs> that's what I look like. I'm sorry, uh, just really, just really plain, just really mundane. I also love the fact that he told like that Komai uh, reporter. Uh, like, you know, I'm keeping social distance and like the one that's being held now. I said that in Spanish, in English. I'm so lame, but <laughs> iconic answer. Como que guardando el distanciamiento social, no como que se está aguantando ahora mismo. All right, so what I wanted to talk about uh, this week was, I don't know, I don't think I could make a good video out of it. Maybe out of like some, like a sub subject <laughs> uh, from this whole topic. But anyway... I kind of did want to talk about this because I wanted to see like what y'all thought but it is it, when I say it gets me very vulnerable it doesn't mean that I'm gonna cry or anything it's just like I don't know how y'all will think about me when I say these things <laughs> I like I genuinely I posted something last night that said like I'm such a loser in real life I think online is only is the only place where people take me seriously pretty much um so I'm moving so you know I'm going to another place which like, I have no problem with I am so excited to, like, move into my own place. Like, it's great to live with my parents. I'm, like, I actually have no need to leave. But I really do want my own space. I also want to, in a sense, which has to do with, like, this whole topic, uh, I want to grow up. I want to be responsible for my own things. It's very, I think it's very typical. Especially now that I'm 24, and I feel like there's young people at 19 that, like, move out and they're very responsible for their own things. Granted, of course, they have different circumstances a lot of the time. But, you know, I think it's pretty normal that, like, I'm about to be 25 and I, you know, I want my own space and I want to be responsible for my own things. And, you know, um, the thing is that I've been really sheltered. I don't want to, like, sit down here and just blame my parents and be like, oh, it's all my parents' fault. You know, I feel like... Sometimes, yeah, there's a lot of things, like traumas. I wouldn't say this is a trauma, but this is something, you know, an issue that I have that, uh, yeah, like I could I could say, like, yeah, my parents sheltered me a lot, but I feel like at this point, it's my responsibility to grow up and be like, you know, I have to change this. I have to grow up and I have to take responsibility for myself and stuff. Um... But, you know, so moving out requires that I get a job because, of course, I mean, the only bills I have, I have only a few bills. Thank God. I'm, I'm very grateful and very privileged. I've never denied that I'm very privileged in a lot of senses, especially monetarily. I, I won't be, you know, when I leave my house, I'm going to lose a lot of privileges. But uh, thankfully, w- when I say that, I mean that, like, my apartment only, I only have to pay, like, utilities and stuff like that, because it's, like, no rent or anything, but anyway, I still have to pay that off, and for me, someone with no job currently, only freelancing and stuff, that's not easy, and honestly, I'm okay with that, I, I don't want to be that kind of person that's, like, I have to pay, oh my god, but 
also yeah like i don't think we should pay for basic necessities but that's just my values it doesn't have to do with reality right now like yes i do have to pay for all that which is fine uh however you know i am very anxious and kind of scared because like i said i'm very sheltered i've never i've had jobs uh one of them you know my last one was working with dad and even though i could have kept on going but i really didn't want to i wanted like a i hate to say it like this if we're gonna be honest i want a real job where like my dad's not the boss and where i have to you know work under pressure and stuff like that i mean i don't want to but i want to i don't want to do that i want to have the experience of that so i can grow i guess um and i like like i said like i'm i've been very sheltered so of course i wouldn't say it's the root of my anxiety of my two biggest anxieties i have uh social ang- well i have general anxiety i think I, I don't even like talking about that because you know i don't have a diagnosis or anything but i feel like i do have general anxiety like anything like gives me anxiety that i guess in the normal sense that people get anxiety i don't know i feel like i'm not speaking correctly but yeah but i also have social anxiety and i have driving anxiety my social anxiety i feel like okay like <laughs> if i ever get a therapist if i go to, ever go to therapy i'm just gonna be like watch this episode of the podcast because uh that's where i talk about <laughs> these things uh no but um my social anxiety i think really comes from like low self-esteem i feel like uh there's always like this power dynamic with anyone i meet in person like for example i was just thinking like when i went to kentucky fried chicken <laughs> when i went to get go get food i felt like i don't know i guess it also has to do with imposter syndrome i feel like people can see right through me and be like you know like this girl has no life experience like she is you know and that's where the social anxiety comes through and like it manifests in like being really clumsy and being really like like i hate when people are kind of condescending to me as well uh but it's when it's not really condescending but you feel like it's condescending because you have such low self-esteem and you're kind of just like yeah they're not gonna treat me like an adult they're gonna treat me like a child who knows nothing or whatever but um yeah it's like that's the thing about working right like you have to deal with people you have to deal with other people and it scares me in that sense uh it scares me to fuck up and you know have it be because of my social anxiety i don't know i don't know i don't think i have a lot of self-worth in real life as much as i do online like and it's easier of course to be brave and to do whatever online uh as it is in real life but it is what it is really i'm I'm trying to work on that of course then there's the other anxiety that i have which is driving anxiety which i think okay first of all i'm not saying this like no one has this but to me it's so like the concept of for example driving to san juan by myself to see a friend or something so uh what do you call that when it's so strange so i don't know i don't know but it's so unfamiliar to me <laughs> because i i'm a good driver to be honest it's just i guess it's like the opposite of my social anxiety in my social anxiety i feel like i have no control over myself and uh with my driving anxiety i feel like i have all the control of a car i have all the control of like this vehicle and like if something bad happens it's my fault you know i recently like crashed into a parked car Uh, which it's fine like everyone in that situation is fine and whatever but i just i felt so bad and it's like uh knowing that it's my fault it's it's just mm, mm, no thank you but anyway uh it's just like i guess that's my driving anxiety because to be honest like i was saying like i am a good driver i just i get scared like i don't know i've never really really driven like alone from let's say san juan to here which is like a 30 minute drive i guess i don't know i think it is 30 40 minutes that's what like like that <laughs> but anyway yeah it's just <sighs> and you need both to work you <laughs> you need to be social which i have social anxiety and you need to drive to work which 
it's a whole other mess in itself. Like, I'm trying to find jobs over here, but maybe the best jobs that I can even use my bachelor's degree are probably in some lines. It's like a whole mess, but yeah, uh, I was about to say, like, you know, there are people that incorrectly say that COVID is a blessing. It, first of all, what the actual fuck? I mean, I if I want to give the, those people the benefit of the doubt, I want to say that they mean, like, the circumstances, you know? I don't want to pull, like, that dude que dijo, like, in the chats, like, el virus no vino bien, something like that. El virus fue productivo. I don't want to be that person. Hello. What the fuck? However, um, I guess social distancing is what is good for me. First of all, like, since I have social anxiety, it's pretty good to, like, not see anyone <laughs> so often. Uh, and also, it's the way to work a lot of people are working remotely right now and i feel like also quarantining and social distancing has really shown that like so many things can be done from home <laughs> obviously not everything i feel like i'm not a student so i wouldn't know if uh online classes have been good or bad for me but um i just like working from home would be so good like working from home is something that i would love to do regardless which is why it's so annoying to see influencers and shit uh, go out to parties and whatever because you can create content at home you don't really need to entertain people uh by going out you can just stay at your house and you can uh create content from there entertain people from there if not then i don't think you're interesting but anyway um that would it's still my dream job to like make content all the time and make a lot of content and make money from that and make that my living that is my dream currently it feels nice to say that because i didn't used to have a dream i guess it used to be just like I don't know what I want to do with my life and now I know even though it's it's kind of a far off dream you know it's not like saying I want to be an accountant and I just go to school to be an accountant and whatever which is still hard I'm not saying that it's like it's easy it's just like it's still an idea a very concrete idea as opposed to content creating and knowing when is going to be my big break or whatever but yeah anyway what was I saying that yeah like it's just, it would be the best for me because I wouldn't have to go anywhere if I, you know, worked from home remotely and it was a job that gave me a stable income to sustain myself, <laughs> at least, like, uh, and the other thing, uh, I wouldn't have to meet anyone. I would just have to stay home and not drive anywhere and deal with people just through the phone. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, um, uh, it's just that's that's what it is all right to end the, this episode i really have nothing to say i think i had a few things that i wanted to mention but not really register to vote buy some stickers uh off like keep buying this this week was a really good week for the sticker sales uh i make relatively no money from make from selling all these stickers to be honest like i make nearly no money only i only sold like a few of my own designs well they're all my designs but you know a few of my own stickers that i actually make money from so uh you know i know y'all love the donative ones they're beautiful i really love the woman uh, deserve to be safe one uh and it's great and like i'm not saying like don't buy that one i'm just saying like buy that one and maybe buy a waffle or something waffles are only a buck like oh every like the brunch pieces they're all a buck just and combined if you get like three it's like 150 like just fucking oh my god <laughs> buy some of my art please <laughs> no but yeah like uh so it, it was a great week for stickers uh what else just i don't know what else to say just uh register to vote buy some stickers be good to people uh toy lanes it's over for you dog uh yeah and that's it uh oh and i have like okay i'm looking at the calendar uh i noticed that there's a few videos that, oh and also i know i haven't done a few a quick take but it's just it's been so hectic and busy in my house so i haven't been able to but uh hopefully at some point when i'm not so busy and i don't have a very special makeup series to come in october uh, I sit down and just shoot something and then upload it because I have a lot of things to say, especially about WAP, especially about other topics that I have. Uh, but there are videos. There's a few things like definitely shooting uh, the Animal Crossing tour this weekend. 
uh, sh- and I have a few videos that I've like waited for months and I've like been writing down notes and now like I just sit down, organize them and make really nice videos out of them, hope- hopefully. And it's not just a podcast and I hope uh, those entertain y'all. Okay, now I'm signing off and I'll see y'all next week. Thank you for always supporting and thank you for always uh, being here every week. I'll see y'all next week. Episode 15. Bye.